One of the questions I frequently receive is, how can I apply a better groove or swing to my program drum parts? And there's a lot of great tips and tricks in Cubase that you can use to really help with this. I've loaded up the Urban Ballad Kit uh, directly inside of Groove Agent SE4, which come with Cubase, and we'll listen to some of the quick sounds. And what I've done is I've automatically created within the drum map area, the drum map based on the particular instrument. I will go to my MIDI inserts. At this point, I will open up my Beat Designer plugin and let's program just a quick beat. So we'll come here, hit play. I'll just click directly on my kick. Let's adjust the velocity. Now you can see this from my drum map. So if I wanted to go to my hand clap, I go to my closed hi-hat. Add some bongos. So let's say I kind of like the pattern, but I don't necessarily like the feel. It's not grooving, it's not swinging enough. And this is where we could go directly to our quantizer plugin. So this is another MIDI plugin. We could run this on any track. And there is a parameter here that we could adjust for swing. So if I wanted to just very easily have it be very strict feeling, or if I wanted to adjust this parameter, you can immediately apply a great swing feel. So you can think of this as being kind of very suburban. And this perhaps is a little more urban. If I wanted to actually just take this pattern and drop it into my project window, I could click on this little drop down menu and there's uh, several different inserting options. One is to fill the loop with the pattern and this will drop it directly onto my timeline. And now what I want to do is to actually, we'll turn off our Beat Designer plugin since the data is already in. And I'm gonna grab my glue tool and I will glue those parts together and we'll double click and look at them in the editor. As we mentioned before, this is being employed as a real time process. So you see that as I adjust this, none of the MIDI notes are shifting in position. If I wanted to embed the feel of the quantizer plugin into the track, or with any MIDI plugin, I would just go to my MIDI menu and choose Freeze MIDI Modifiers. And now you can see all the MIDI information just shift. I'll undo that. And as I do that and employ that, we'll redo it. The plugin itself automatically turns off and disables. So let's say I like that particular feel, but now I wanted to match it up maybe with a drum loop. So let's go to my media bay on the right hand side here and let's look for some different drum loops. So let's say I, I kind of like the feel of that drum loop. I'm gonna drag it onto my project window. And as I do this, if I wanted to play these two together, it's not quite so tight rhythmically. So if I wanted to have the MIDI information automatically follow the feel of the original drum loop, we could do that very easily. So I'm gonna double click here and we'll go to our hit points tab in our sample editor and I want to just adjust the threshold here, just a little bit so we can include some of the different subtleties. And now we see this option, several different options here. One of them will be called Create Groove. So I could see my quantize presets labeled here. When I go to Create My Groove, 
we'll see that a new preset has been added, which is the name of the particular audio file. If I wanted to quantize the MIDI information to this drum loop to get a different feel, I could just select Q and have this preset loaded up as opposed to like an eighth note or 16th note. So now when we play, the MIDI is now automatically locked directly to the feel from the drum loop. If I undo that, let's say if I wanted to do the opposite, what I could do is very easily come and we'll open up our quantize panel. So any of the presets that we see here, we could just save that preset. We could remove a preset. But if I have a MIDI part open, I could drag the MIDI part directly to the quantize settings, and this will now be our preset. I will double click here, and I want to create slices, again, based on our hit points. And then if it's in musical mode, you may get a little message, say okay. And now at this point, I'm gonna select all of the audio and we're gonna quantize it based upon the preset of the actual drums. So as soon as I come here, we now can hit play. And now the audio is quantized based on the MIDI information. So as you can see, there's a lot of very powerful tools to quickly and easily create different grooves, swings, extract grooves from audio, apply to MIDI, apply MIDI grooves to other MIDI parts or MIDI grooves to audio. And it's very powerful and simple in Cubase. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.